Hey there, sorry for the bad angle. I'm just waiting for uh, an appointment. They're running behind, sitting in my car. I got my uh, my little harp here with me. This is the Vlad Fire Harp, and we're just playing around. Thought I would share something with you. So one thing to keep in mind, it's it's you know it's a metal instrument, but this is essentially like the string on a, on a string instrument, right? So like on a bass or a guitar, you're you're always running your fingers up and down the guitar to change the pitch. I don't play any string instruments. But I get the general concept, and you can do everything here with your mouth as well. But one thing that sometimes you leave out is the uh, the power of playing with the reed and not just attenuating it in one spot. So I'll change in the sound. You can do that, right? But you want to slide up and down and along it to uh, to just explore that a little bit more. So I'll just give you an example. We'll just lay something down. All right, so uh, sorry for the the shaking. I got a, my rest of my phone on the steering wheel, and I'm hitting it. I'm shaking the car, but you can hear what I'm doing is on the back. It's easier. That's one thing I like about these Vlad harps is is they're large, and you can play the reed on the front or the back. A lot of a lot of times there's not much room to get your thumb in there, and it's tough to do it. So uh, it's it's just kind of more comfortable comfortable and natural to to do that. So your your thumb goes in the back here, and as you're playing your your touching the reed, not crazy hard, and then you slide it up as you go, and then you can slide her back down. You can see here on the on the camera, you'll see my thumb start about here, and it slides up. Anyways, thought I'd share that one real quick. What, two minutes? I probably got another 10-15 minutes to wait. I'll be messing around. Have a good one.